People in Venezuela are enduring a fourth straight day of an unprecedented nationwide power blackout. The country's under fire socialist president, Nicolas Maduro, who is facing a challenge by the leader of the opposition led Congress, is pointing an accusing finger at the United States. Experts, however, they are saying that this blackout is almost certainly due to years of underinvestment in the power grid. For more on this, we have Fernando Jauregui, a freelance journalist based in Caracas, who joins us on the phone. Fernando, it's hard to imagine the chaos a four-day blackout would cause in Korea, but your country is going through this on top of food shortages and massive inflation. How are people in Venezuela coping with the situation, especially in regards to the lack of electricity? Hi, Mark. Most Venezuelans are seriously affected by the blackout, especially patients in public and private health centers where some deaths had occurred. People is losing food, medicines, home electronics, and it's not possible to purchase anything due to the fact that there is no cash in the hands of consumers and debt cars are not passing, and many co commerces are closed for this reason. Okay, and President Maduro is blaming the U.S. for the power outage, saying the Americans sabotaged a uh, hydroelectric dam that uh, is responsible for uh, supplying a lot of the electricity. Do Venezuelans there buy that story? Well, you know, Army General Luis Mota Dominguez, director of the State National Corporation, Corpolec, has accused the USA of making a cyber attack to the central of Guri, where 80% of the electric power is produced in Venezuela by the hydroelectric system of the dam. But it's well known for a long time the problems of maintenance of this complex, which is the most important in Venezuela. So this is not the first time in this case, this is the most serious case. Uh, where the dawn has problems providing all the electricity to most of the country. So not everybody is buying the supposed to attack of the USA to the Guri Dam. Okay, and we've been watching on TV here the massive opposition marches, anti-Majuro marches, intensifying international pressure, and now this nationwide power outage. But Maduro seems determined to stay put. Is there a sense in Venezuela that he could ride this out and actually remain in power? Well, this is affecting his image. This is one of the many services that Venezuela are suffering in the deterioration due to the lack of his investment and maintenance of the systems in areas like health, water, electricity, home cooking gas, gasoline, communication, and is having a very high cost among President Maduro followers in spite of his accusations to the USA provoking the blackout. Okay, Fernando Jauregui, a freelance journalist based in Caracas, we do appreciate you joining us and keeping us updated. Stay safe and uh, hopefully we'll get to speak to you again soon. Goodbye. Thank you.